Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? Oh, I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, look what I got behind me. My new Smith machine, I just picked it up yesterday. And this is gonna be the first time that I use it. So, uh, years ago, I did have a full cage, full uh, rack, and I've, whenever I started my gym uh, this year, my initial thoughts were just get a bench, you know, an adjustable bench and use dumbbells and just get a slight workout here and then, you know, try and do what I can with that. And then before you know it, I've got the high-low pulley here and I've got my hack press and I've got a ton of dumbbells and Olympic plates. <laughs> So it doesn't take long for you to go ahead and jump back into your routine that you used to be on. And I was considering getting another rack, but I was looking at half racks uh, because of the size of this room that I'm in and, uh, and everything. And I've seen some and I've, I've not bought them and all that stuff. And finally, yesterday I went and got this and I've seen it on the uh, Facebook marketplace for like a couple of months now, probably. And uh, so I went ahead and got this yesterday and uh, today we're gonna utilize it. I'm gonna try and do the best I can with some camera work. I'm getting pretty crowded in here so I'm getting less and less areas to put the camera. So let's get started. Right now I'm gonna warm up with the bar and I can tell you right now that bar is heavy. So very heavy. <laughs> so let's go ahead and we're gonna do some sitting shoulder presses. Now I'm going to do another probably two sets of that to get nice and warmed up and then uh, we'll start our lightweight sets and maybe go up a little heavy and just see how it feels. All right. I'll catch back up with you. You stick with me. So, so far guys, I've done my warm-up sets. I did two sets with 50 pound, uh, with 25s on each side, then I did two sets with 35s on each side. Now I'm gonna do uh, a set of 100, uh, it'll be 35, 10, and a five on each side. So we'll see how that goes. One thing's for sure, this feels way heavier and a little bit more difficult than using the easy bar like I normally do. With the easy bar, standing overhead press, I've done, I think it was 160 or 170, 160 I think, but yeah, this is, this feels really heavy. That's a good thing, I guess. I'm going to 
do one more set of 100 and I may go up one more notch after that. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, right now I've got a 35 on each side and a 25 on each side. I'm okay with that. Five reps, I'm okay. All right, now you've seen my shoulder workouts before. Pretty much this video here is just to kind of showcase my first workout that I'm using with my new Smith machine. Uh, so we just did shoulder presses and that's as far as I'm gonna go with it on those. I don't wanna press my luck, no pun intended. Shoulder problems, arm problems, and I don't wanna press my luck with anything. So now I'm gonna do some side lat raises to kind of finish off my shoulders. Uh, with that and then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to try some shrugs on the Smith machine and see how that goes. Typically I use my 100 pound dumbbells and I'll use my easy bar uh, for the shrugs as well. But I'm going to try the Smith machine and see how it works. <laughs> That was 15 reps. It felt pretty good uh, trying to get it spun and locked back on where the little hooks hook onto the safeties there. That was a little awkward, but uh, we'll see what happens. Let's put some more weight on it. Okay, what you'll notice with that is, I couldn't get the bar spin, spun back so the hooks would uh, latch. So, you may have to start from the bottom uh, with the pull. Now, I do have some safeties that I can raise up, but it's kind of weird that you can't kind of get the bar spun back and uh, locked in. We'll try it again, though. Okay, I think I'm gonna stand on the other side of the bar and try to do it from that side. See if that helps any. When you're on that side, you're pulling kind of this direction and pulling the hooks to the stops. When you're over here and you lift up, you're turning the bar away from the stops and you can't get yourself to spin the bar back to lock. So let's see what we can do.
Got it. Let's go for a walk, guys. Okay. We have these little stops right here that when you unhook them from here, they slide anywhere you want on this pole. And this bar will stop anywhere that those are. So, putting those stops right there keeps you from having to worry about worrying about latching and unlatching the hooks. So that solves that problem. I'm okay with that. It feels okay. Uh, you can definitely feel a difference from uh, a natural bar movement to something that's on a track. You can definitely feel the difference. Uh, I don't know if it's a good difference, but uh, everyone, uh, everyone sees things differently and everyone's body reacts differently. But you can definitely tell there's a difference. But let's go up and wait anyway, shall we? Let's get straps. Well, that was 320 pounds. The 400 pound I failed on. It's, uh, it's a little awkward on that machine, I'm not gonna lie. No excuses, it is a little bit awkward. Um, I'll keep working with it, but uh, you know, I'm still eventually gonna get a trap bar, or you can call it a hex bar, whichever. It's the bars that you step in the middle of and you got the handles and uh, it kind of helps out with this kind of stuff. I will eventually get one of those and uh, Yeah, that's a little awkward on the back and the grip and everything. It's just a little awkward, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get another set or so of those and uh, I'll be done with shoulders guys so My assessment of the first use of the Smith machine not bad uh, Not too bad the shoulder presses, I think, worked out better, a lot better than the shrugs. And uh, tomorrow I have back. I don't know if I'll use this for back or not. I know I could potentially do bent rows or something, but I do those just fine without a Smith machine or any other machine. So we'll see. I don't want to press my luck and tweak my back too much because this is kind of, you know, you don't want to push yourself for something brand new. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first little run-through of my Smith machine. And uh, I hope I have many more run-throughs with you. Uh, if you don't mind, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to my channel, Mikey Sun TV. I got all kind of good stuff in there, uh, including stuff like this and all kind of other goodies that you're going to enjoy. I promise, go check out the playlist. Make sure you share. Do it. Be an inspiration to yourself. Be an inspiration to someone else along the way. All right? And don't forget, guys. Get up. Get out. Get red. Do it to it. And we'll see you next time. On Mikey Sun TV. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it.